Hello and welcome to the next part of Grand Timidro 5. So, let's... I'm just checking if I'm in my... If I'm listening to the right one. Not that one. No, I'm in the right one because I can see the BHP is faster. And we're going to go and do the Compact Cup, which... Which I don't get is uh, they allow the Civic, but it's a small car. But I wouldn't class it as a combat car, and we're going to go straight into the championship. You can do those three races individually, and then the championship, because it can get you more money. But, if you just do the championship, it will do all those three races, and some other races as well. So yeah, that is a way of actually getting more money, is uh, doing those three races, and then the championship. Oh, I don't, I don't know exactly, but anyway, championship. And we're going to start. Don't need to upgrade anything else on our car because our car is definitely going to be fast because these are all small cars. Which, this, this is what I don't get is like they're all actual small cars, like little box, like boxed up small cars. And ours is like quite big compared to theirs. And ours is just a small car, but it's not really, I wouldn't call it a compact car. Obviously, it's going to be like it's the same size as this car I've just hit into. But most of the other cars are quite small compared. Well, no. The Renault, probably the same size. No, but that's what I don't. That's what I was gonna get on to say. I don't get like it's a compact cup, like a small car cup, but they allow like cars like the Civics and the Renault in it. When, in my opinion, they're they're a smaller, they're smaller than the average road car, but they're not they're not an actual. I, I wouldn't class them as a small car. Smaller than the average car, but not s smaller than the average road car, but not, I wouldn't say really small. I'd say it's still like medium size, like an average car is like just big, normal car medium, and then I would, I would call it class these as these, like the size cars, and the re like, like, like that Renault, those size cars. I'd class them as like medium size, not small. I wouldn't class, yeah, I wouldn't class them as small. But, uh, Grand Smith has. I don't know about in any other games. Well, I should know. Because I've played all the other games, but... I haven't played them for ages. But I... At the moment in time, I don't know exactly if, uh... This, uh, what is like in the old games. Or if they actually took old car uh, old cars, took small cars for small cars and medium cars for medium and big for big but anyway it's an advantage for us so I shouldn't really be moaning it's an advantage for us because we have a bigger car and a faster car but either way we're going to have a faster car anyway because if we actually went properly we actually were forced to get a small car I would have just used the Yaris and then tuned it up so it's faster, so either way I would have had a fast car, anyway. So yeah, um, I think I forgot to say it in the last two parts. Um, the line on the track obviously tells you like what line you should race in and when you should brake. Um, this only is around for the first three championships, if I'm right. First three or four championships and then the line goes and it's not there for the rest of the game unless I think you can opt to have it there I don't know I've like I'm fairly new to this game but not exact and I'm not exactly new but I'm fairly new to the game so I've never completed the game before but no don't panic uh, because I don't know if you could like I know if you're doing an adventure game you'd say well Right, this is a blind walkthrough, but I wouldn't call this a blind walkthrough because uh, as long as you're good at good at car games, not not so, I was gonna say as long as you're good at car games, it doesn't matter what game it, car game it is, you're gonna be good at it. But what I mean is like I've played all the Grand Turismo's through my childhood, and um, I'm just generally good at car games because they're my one favorite type of games. And um, I'm just good at car games, so even though I'm like never completed this, 
I'm not blind with a Gran Turismo with the Gran Turismo franchise, and I'm not cra crap at car games. So I'm good. Obviously, I, I, I haven't, I haven't like not ever done the cha like any of these championships. I've, I've got up to. I think it's amateur or the series after that. I think I've got up to then, but I've never actually completed it. But I've done a good amount of this game. Not the biggest amount there is, but a good amount. And um, ah, I thought my uh, so I thought my TV turned off then or something went wrong because it was blank for. Anyway, yeah, another race. Oh, I thought it was starting the second end, but that's a Persia 106 in second. Oh, just cracked on, I was quite fast then. So, yeah, three laps, and it's around another city track. I think. Three, I think most of these races are. Si oh, you bounced off the barrier when you hit it. <coughs> Sorry for that. Um. I think most of these are city tracks apart from one or two races. When you uh, go into this, um, the FF Challenge, it does have the three races and then the championship option. If you do just do those three races before doing the championship, or just do those three races, those three races are um, all s city circuits. So um, you also do those in the championship. So yeah, come to think of it, you do three cir city circuits. I think two normal tracks or one normal track. But either way, there's more. There's most of the tracks in this in the FF Challenge are um, city circuits. Don't know why I'm saying city circuits? I've never really called track circuits in my life, really. Anyway, way off in front. Well, not way off in front, but we've got a very good lead. So I'd say if you're not ex experienced with this game and you're going you're t using my walkthrough to um, to follow or you're just using my walkthrough to get a tip because you're stuck on something um, I would say use use the line as much as you can and yeah get used to when to break because okay this line this racing line only is only there for like three or four championships and then it's gone for the rest of the game I think unless you put it on there but I don't know if you can put it back on there or not um, but I just get I know it like oh we'll give you the braking positions and the racing position for those tracks but what about other tracks that the li racing line's not been on uh, I think just get used to it because even though you don't get to race every track with the line before it goes, uh, it's just gets you in a hangar before bends and just like where to position yourself on bends and position yourself on straights. Just get you a better driver. So I would say. If you're that unexperienced that you really like, I don't know, you're just like way behind, or you just you're you're behind, but and you're struggling, then don't follow the line. Just try and s battle your way through, hit the other cars, because it's not going to do anything to your car really. But if you are good at car games maybe you've played I don't know maybe you've played uh, Xbox like Burnout maybe you've played Burnout I don't know why I'm making these stupid like situations like oh maybe you've played Burnout for the whole of your life no but maybe you've played Burnout for the whole of your life never played um, uh, Gran Turismo and you've uh, got a PS3 You've been recommended Gran Turismo, so you're good at car games, but you're not suited to racing on proper race tracks. Then you may be off in front, but not knowing 
Like, I don't know. Why am I getting... Here's, here's one of the normal tracks. Why am I... G trying to give situ set up situations like... Well, maybe... You've never played Grand Tourism Row. You've had a PS2 for your whole life. You've played Burnouts. You've bought every Burnout. From the release date. Burnout 1 to Burnout Paradise or whatever. Burnout 4. I don't know. I lose track of the Burnouts. Uh, just, I don't know. I don't think there would be anyone that's just played Burnout and not Grand Turismo. There might be someone, but most people that play Burnout, I've played Grand Turismo. And most people that play Grand Turismo, I've played Burnout. I've played Grand Turismo and Burnout. I've played more, I think, Grand Turismo than Burnouts, but I played the Burnouts. I think I've. I've Come to think of that, I've played a, a lot, a few Grand Turismo, uh, Burnouts, but I've only owned, I think, two or three. I think I've only owned two, I think I only uh, I own one or two, one and two now, but I think when I was young, like, I only owned one and two, and then obviously I traded them in, and then I got them back, like, last year. Yeah, I think I've uh, only owned one and two, but I've played more because my next neighbour like, had some of the other gr um, burnouts and where he's had them, I used to go around his house and watch him play or play play with him, or yeah. So it's quite straightforward. Three laps. Oh God, I thought it was, a, I thought it was near the end of the race. All that one. So yeah, straightforward three laps, um, and um, easy. This is probably the only, like, I'll be honest, probably the only time I've actually been sat here doing a walkthrough and said, "This is easy." God, if I said this, like. Okay, Ratchet and Clank. Some people have told me that is a childish game, and I, I'm not going to disagree with them. It was the game because it was made for child. It was made for children. It wasn't made for adults. Well, I don't know if it was made for adults, but it's pro it was probably made for everyone, a every age range, from probably three and not upwards. But it's kind of like it just looks like a childish game. But that is actually quite hard. That's what I was thinking the other day. Like. Games these days are hard, but they're more of the entertainment, like entertainment value than than the actual game. Not game. I'm not saying like games these days are crap, but like games these days. Yeah, games these days, is, in my opinion, aren't as hard. It's like FIFA. Isn't isn't that hard? It's just, in my in my opinion, FIFA is just luck. Some people may say no, you got to be skilled. It's like all it is is just running, playing against the computer, running, doing some skills, and just hoping that the computer doesn't kick, doesn't stop you while you do those skills and run down the thing. It's just luck, really. You don't know what the computer is going to do. But it's, that's what I get with the like. This is what I'm trying to say. Is like, PS, my opinion, PS people say, oh, oh, you, oh, I don't know. I'm repeating myself a bit here, but like, oh, you play Ratchet and Clank. That's easy. Like, yeah, okay, it's easy for some people, and I'd say it's easier for me now, but it's still not e like really easy for me because what I've been trying to explain throughout all of this conversation is, I think. Most PS2 games are harder than na games that are made nowadays. Because these games these days, like I said, are more for entertainment or like, oh, I like doing this or... And then PS2 games are more like there to actually test your gaming, like... go You've got to go through trails and... Yeah, so... All that conversation was for nothing, and all I could have said is, "Oh, I think PS2 games are harder than games that are made nowadays," which I do. And because this is a championship, we win a cup. Well, a trophy. It's not a cup. A trophy. A cup is a type of trophy, but this ain't a cup. It's a trophy, though. It's a piston trophy. 
Very nice. And no, you cannot sell it to get money. So that's the end of that. Right. Might as well go and claim our prize. Which is obviously a cut another car. Yeah. Obviously I, I could read that if you want I could have read that because it but I don't want to pause and read, remember? We have one A Berlinetti So I think I've said that wrong. R S Coop ninety nine. Anything else? Nope. Claim our prize. Oh yeah, just say if you think that if you uh you obviously have realised already because this is part three. There's a uh, black like bars around the edge. Um, this that isn't because of my editing or the settings of me recording it. It's just because I don't know. I've seen it. I've seen some people on YouTube get uh, record Grand Turismo in 16 by 9, but I've seen a few other people that have the same thing as me. I think it's just the game. Uh, the people that I've seen recording it in 16 by 9 the video which I don't I don't want to stretch the size of the video because I'm all about saving the quality now I've got a HD capture card um, yeah I just think it, it it's just a game it's not how I recorded it or it's all the all the PlayStation 3 and stuff or my, how my TV is it's just the game um, Yes. I click no? Oh, I click yes. It's good, I, I meant to click yes. Oh, look at that green! I don't know why I said that. No. This is get my music! I just wanted to say that. I watch quite a f uh, few uh, American vloggers, and uh, if you also if you're watching this and you watch quite a lot of American vloggers, and you uh, you should get what I just said, because there's an American vlogger that oh, made him made a, his latest video is like I'm not gonna say it, but uh, his late this American vlogger that I watch his latest video involves him saying, "I get my music." Anyway, thanks for watching part 